Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Accio. Let me open. And then the werewolves join the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot, and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Rebellion. It was perfect for stargazing the other night. Not a cloud in the sky. I've never seen the heavens so bright. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. 
I think he was hungry. More like he doesn't like you. How could they love me? I'm his best friend. I would think a puff team's best friend would be another puff team. But I have insisted entirely. He doesn't know anyone else. Let me <laughs> Off on another adventure, are we? What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. 
Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's Potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Dark. Huh? You're not that dark. Chill. Sure. And you don't have a slit in your eyebrow. You can have scars. Oh. Very well. Dumbass, like Harry. You to make your first visit to the village He's not alive yet, though. Help you get your bearings. This is like before. Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. And all this shit. Yeah, this is like Ron's ancestors or some shit. I'd like to go with Sebastian. I'm about to get my one. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished professing, <laughs> I'll meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the three broomsticks. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> Have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed, I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that the mending charm Repero. Oh, Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. He's on my cock. It seems as if that might come in handy more frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class. Sure, the man. Your professors have agreed to do. I have a ring charm for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting up. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first hand experience. Uh, Such uh, experience is. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I gotta do this nigga's laundry.
This is the right area. I wonder where oh, the look. is. What you mean? If you see it. Open this door. Oh, no. Yes, sir. Uh, that's all you made me do. I trust the preliminary does. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember. Repair! Of your magic. That's it. Very good. If you like some to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Revelio. Oh, that was fucked that bird up. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you on my way. Dance on dick, I see. Oh, there's a siren. Move, bitch. Duh. Yo, quit that shit, bruh. Fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first visit to the village? Duh. since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides then. Shut up. a charming little place. Oh, boy, we should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Oh. 
Join you today, as am I. Thank you, by the way. Oh my God! Of course, you're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. <laughs> Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Fuck that bitch, Al. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Shut up, bro. You're not bad. I'm just waiting to take over this base. Of detention, to kill everybody. Might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So, how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. I'm going pretty slow. Yeah. Beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look, what's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Birds. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Why do we already make? To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Well, I will be going there. Had much of a chance to explore the tunnel. A little, she got a fairly positively enormous. It is that I've been there five years, and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, faces to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? Yes, you still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Look, my nigga. I'm black, of course I can fight. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. I don't care about we go full about that nigga and kill all rip. And here, bruh. What's here? Fuck. Oh shit, what the fuck is this? Come on. No. Mr. Moon, he's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. 
I assure you the castle where it's... Good luck to both of you. A demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen a moon in such a state. Moonstone. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Holy shit, this is big. I wanna... Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about those men. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcrafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. You got, uh, what? Remember, have fun. It's hard to me. I bet and get drunk. <laughs> Rape a couple women. Is this wand? Olivanda's. Fuck up my face, Sebastian. Fuck it. Whoa. Nah, I can just walk in the end. Let me shake this little ring. I'll be right with. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better be. Just a moment, please. What? Hello, sir. Thank you. For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes. Uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbil Olivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Olivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. I bet. Truly. Me well uh, one. Come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, mm. No, 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 not you. Mm. Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm. You might do. I want ten and a half inches kind of small, bro. Give this one a try. Say that might be perfect. Hell no. Well, go ahead. Swish. It did. Oh, God. Uh, once more, come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, how ugly. the shelf for you uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated how perplexing um, where are you perhaps you uh, ah there you are yes I think you might be the one here Take it. Keep saying this shit, man. 
Okay. Uh. Would I elder hoarding? No, we're not doing that. How intriguing. Oh, <laughs> Now the eye. How intriguing. Mm, we'll go with that. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Need a stiff one. Curious indeed. Unyielding, bah. Not unicorn. Cause in great range of magic. We want the, the power. Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Curious indeed. How intriguing. You gonna tell me about this one or what? Whatever, fuck you. I see. Cause you're not... Me, I'm not gonna do it. Like it. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Kill him! <sighs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Show my fucking blah. How do I get drip? That's what I want. Drip. I want drip. Bro, I, I need to find out where to drip at. Um, 
Yep. How do I, uh... <laughs> Fucking cap. I want drip, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I want drip. Drip. Ah, whatever. What's this? They don't want to tell me how to get drip, bro. Whatever. Just wait till I get on drippy. We gotta go like. Yeah. Motherfucking J Pepions. The shortcut? The song's taking the shortcut. Boo! I'm flying, bro. What's this is. Welcome to J Pippin's pushing. Alright, whatever, nigga. I don't, I don't really give too much fuck about you. Is it really? Well. <laughs> Harry, you'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me How may I help you today? You're the student she sent the owl about. Is it not the most fascinating art potion make? A potion's free. Oh, yeah, I don't give a fuck about potion. potion. They also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And, but for... Yeah, so. What can I do for you today? One of these. Two of these. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Where else are we going to go? I'm going to loop. Oh god. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take Mel. Not at all. Well, bravo. Name's Timothy Teasdale. I keep the car. Ah, uh, bra. No get. But... <laughs> Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Yeah, but well, cool. Revelio. Thanks, pussy. I feel like maybe I forgot one. Oh, shit.
I was in your shop, dog. Rebellion. Don't mind me. I get drip. Not really my style. Is this even where I'm supposed to be? Yeah, I think so. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Yeah. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. That's everything. Go and find Sebastian. Is it really fire, bro? Why is it not online, bro? I want to cop that game so bad. I, I mean, I'm fucking with it. It's tough, right? It's... I knew it was going to be something when I seen it on TikTok. I'm like, yo, that shit's going to be hard. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fucking with It's pretty big, like the maps and shit. But yeah, it's only, it's only one online. I mean, it's only one story mode, right? Yeah, I mean, people are like, they think that, like, uh... They're gonna drop it online. Yeah, like in DLCs and shit. I don't know, but fucking. Can you see that happening? Or I can see a way for them to do it for sure, but it's up to them if they really want to do it. Okay, okay, okay. But like, I can see how they could. Nah, I've been busy. Oh, uh, cause I actually just got mine. For twenty dollars. <laughs> and you, you was like, you was like, oh, I'll let you know when I go cop one. I'm like, all right, cool. Oh uh, yeah, nah. yeah, he still got one. He still got one. No cap. Is he at the crib? Yeah. Oh, like literally him. He's literally upstairs. I'm like, yeah, that's all he do is just work. Really. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's pretty cool though. The game. Of course, I'm playing this. I'm about to say, bro. I'm about to say. They need to make more open world games that are online. I feel like I feel like that's the next wave. Nah, yeah. What's it called? You could stream it for sure. Yeah, nah, but I wanna, I wanna like, like I wanna play more open worlds. Like when we, when we stream, when we play that 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 scary game. That 
that was fun. We just didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. Like, really, like, you already know you could be in the streams. Like, I bro, officially you have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you, what you, need? you, oh did you get what you needed from the system? I really do. I did. I'm playing right now. I so I suppose the world you. is our oyster I'm now. Really, yeah, play with you. Let's see what else. I was good, bro. I literally said I was going to do that. I'm about to buy my girlfriend fucking perfume for Valentine's Day. Just do that. Right there. Nah, but I want you to get another monitor because I really want you to stream also. Because I know, I know eventually everybody's gonna have a TV. Everybody's gonna have a TV. No, I, I have the monitors. It's more just I need to. What's it called? I, I just need a type of connection for it. I'm gonna buy it like probably this week or some shit. Too, but I just never got it. Yeah, and I think it is online too. Oh no, it is. Nah, but I was like, I feel like this Harry Potter game is gonna be fire. So like, when we try it. Is it? I get it like probably like, Thursday or Friday or some shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to have to do that. Alright, I'll bring her. I'll come back from Baltimore. Oh shit. Oh shit. Who? Okay, bitch. Bitch. What the fuck? Goodness. <laughs> yeah, oh, the second shit. troll. Right. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be it's evil in this game. To be honest. Merlin's big. Bro, me too. I'm trying to right? be evil. We are. Okay. We were glad to help. Yeah, I, I, I picked Slytherin. I, I'm fucking. I'm trying to be evil as hell. Never I killed like him. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If oh, you are right. unharmed, perhaps oh. the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where like they the... were. Of Are you course, cut? Officer. Uh, Diego cut, yeah. Officer Singer. Mm. And thank you again. <laughs> I got a fucking repair all this shit. Fuck out of here. I'll go and see what he wants. I'm about to. 
I might no like this game. No cap. Okay. <laughs> Are you? Was the second one even good? The second one was good, but Bill died, and then I never even finished it. Like, I was at a good part, but I already know how the game ends. So I didn't really want to finish it anyway. I, I never, um, got into it. I, I only played the first one. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. I'm, I'm trying to get some drip so I can look drippy as hell in the game. Luthia, extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable uh, bravery in fighting those troubles, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. David, you should just stream the Harry Potter suit. Happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an ordinary money, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladwell. It's, be it's before like Harry Potter on the. It's like probably like ninety years, hundred years before, and you're your own wizard and shit. As I you come to like Hogwarts late as hell, and then like up to you, like you can pick like your own house, different shit. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, new thing that you dropped. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Yeah. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, oh, now let's try this on the side, shall we? I, I finished that shit. Plenty of perusal today. Take your time. You, you, you became ass, right? I feel like it's kind of ass. Like last season? <laughs> like season three, right? Yeah. That's what I thought last. Okay. Okay, I wasn't crazy. I wasn't crazy. Right. Cause I was like, man, it's kinda ass. I was watching Vikings, but I don't know. I missed season two. I didn't even pop more. I heard that shit's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for me to get back into the anime again. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget uh, that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I didn't even know I was online. I didn't even know you could see I was playing. Perfect. Three yeah, I'm about to say I'm like, yo, because I was, I was trying to play the game. Nice, I didn't even know. I was trying to play the game, but it's like, not everything we beat to play the thing. Should you be? Yeah. So I was like, dude, that should be annoyed. Like, you got in-game matter kind because Cosplay is sweats. And then Rainbow, you gotta have a full team. And then Cod is not even that hard. Cod is just like Cod. You play that shit to make the time go by. For real. And then, like these, these and then you got these actual RPG games that are actually. <laughs> you got Elden Ring. Hogwarts Legacy, God of War, like these games, those games are actually good games. Then I'm gonna drop that new Spider Man. I think Death Space was good too, I think. Well, I can't wait for that Spider Man. My shop at Death Space? Spider Man. Oh, yeah, Spider Man. I need some yeah. evil drip. Yeah, Spider Man. The Spider Man's gonna be two player too. Is it? Mm hmm. It's, it's Miles and, and Peter, so it's gonna be co op. So I was like, yo, I would definitely stream that. That's fine. Were you were you going down to Florida regardless, or were, did you only go because of what happened? Assuming it isn't utter bed. Oh, I was the only one that went The owner. She's I was there to go. It's gonna be a regular day. Regular day at work. <laughs> what the fuck even happened? Um, 
it was a car crash. No, but like, was like a drunk driver or just like niggas yeah. mad? Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. It was, um, they were, uh, they were leaving, um, they were in, um, what's it called? You they said you could get to the car when and, I came to Hogsmeade. Like, it was her friend. All you needed and, uh, was a distraction. It was her friend's friend. I gave friend. you a distraction. Yeah, I, I just watched a student said, yeah. take down and, um, the distraction. Um, they hit a pothole. Who is this uh, child? Uh, hit the pothole. The car is run down in the rain. Oh, you need uh, to right know off, this. Went off the highway. You cannot get to the child. The car was you apparently flipped over. It was in a ditch. I saw the photo after the car. When it, when it wasn't flipped over, so I don't think the car was flipped. But David, it, wasn't, it was seven people in the car. David and Dion were locked up in the backseat. And um, they had no seat Did they on. see us? So David and uh, Dion broke her pelvis. So Dion wasn't able to walk. Like, like Dion is just on the walk right now. Uh, the but she broke her, uh, her, both her lungs popped. I knew so she's I not able to fly. Somewhere. They said if she, uh, if she flies, she's going to die. So then they were like, if she wants to Quickly, go back to New Jersey, she has to take a train or... Yeah, it's gonna be through ambulance. But then, uh, um, her mom was like, "Yo, like, mom, okay, like, it's a treat to see you not gone. Like, I shall wait. let you know um, if I hear anything." Beyond Thank the ambulance, you, but it's like, she didn't really you die because of me, but she was asking if I can do that because it was a whole situation. It was so much drama. It was so annoying. With my family, uh, her family. It was just annoying. It was so mentally draining. But um, you know, I no, stuck it out. What can I? It was regular. I just turned into a vacation really, because I know overall, like. Getting hit by a car, it's my first like, time. Nah, it's fucking getting hit by a car. You would just get it hurt. It on like, you're gonna have your body's gonna have to take time and just to re heal. Like, yeah. it's not like I could physically I touch them and you're gonna the jump up and like fucking sense would be like your coke. See you to escape That's not how life is. Thanks to this so it's like, I was like, bro, even, even us going to Miami, it was that right? That's what support, well like, you know, we're here for you. You know, we're not going to get this. Because even in the hospital, the hospital's about to take care of you. Of how they Trolls. really should be, they kind of like half ass it because you know it's a it's, it's not happened before. Everybody, everybody half ass at work. Yeah. Everybody, no matter That's what. Not right. So I was like, niggas is gonna half ass taking care of people. Have to deal with. <laughs> like, just so, us showing out, you know, more support, like you know, we go check on them, sure and whatnot. That's just us showing our support. But I, I already told my mom, like, What's bro, that look, okay. we so can't do nothing for the brother to get better. There's gonna get better over time. Your clientele's not what it used to be, so right? Not to worry, Victor. Oh, bro, literally, uh, to I, I told my sister straight up, my brother, dropped all my responsibilities. I wouldn't do that if I was all my responsibilities. Come now. And went to Miami and picked up your no responsibility. No need for theatrics. Like, just, I'm just know that, like, we care about you. Because we didn't have to do that. My friend is enjoying a well earned Wait, did you fly back or you rode? Oh no, I flew back. Yeah, <laughs> so the other driving back right now. I have work tonight. I said, I was because she was leaving this friend, morning. I, 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 I got back home last night. I like twelve o'clock. Well, I we think you all had enough one. bloodshed for one day. And what's it called? Um, come the ovenness. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. She was really gonna come back in April. Let's take our girl in. Oh, that's right. Nah, she's getting better. Like they sent my sister home after the day. Forever. Oh shit. Yeah, but what's it called? My sister broke her rib. No, fractured her rib. They didn't really break anything. Deanna broke that damn pelvis, though. Seems I'll tell you that much. That shit was oh, me. That shit what looked crazy. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, it's just, it's, it's just like, it's just swollen. Trolls? Swollen, but I'm Ryan like, Robert I'm like, bro, you put ice, you drink water. What are you <laughs> telling me? Pain, you gonna be all right, I promise to tell you everything. I'm telling you. But it's perhaps so best I do that later. Bro, we be having like, even when you got bruised and you get sore, and on that you note, still I think we should head back to the castle. <laughs> Nigga, it's a mental. Rebellion. I'm like, bro, you better drink some water. You better. I was, she said, I was, she said, I don't want to drink first. I don't want to drink first. That was too much money. So they were like, yo, we're just gonna give you hella morphine and hella oxytocin. And she was just taking hella oxy. They injected her with hella morphine through the IV. Like, I'm like, yo, you're on hella drugs. <laughs> hella drugs. I'm certainly glad yeah. Serona was there. So you, you did that, you just flew by yourself. I can see that. She no, didn't I'm seem at all uh, intimidated my mother came. by my queen. Oh, okay. I think I was, you'll I need to tell me why Victor go. Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. Was, I was really For the moment, go we should Margo, return to the castle. But, Professor uh, Weasley's certain to hear about Margo the troll like, attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. We, I was like, I'm gonna have Dana. I picked up Dana. So I brought Deanna's mom. Uh, I met my sister at the airport. I brought my mom and I brought Simon. But Simon stayed until like Thursday because he had work, he said. So he left on Thursday, but then I stayed all the way from Tuesday to Saturday. And 
then um, but Deanna mom moved back where because they my mom was like my mom and Chanel was like Malachi like no cap there was like if something happens to L um, to you guys in that ambulance on that way back but if anything happens to Deanna you can't make no type of call there was like her mother has the final say they're like so it's pointless for you to even be there your mom should yeah, makes sense. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, you right. So then we just told her mom, like, well, yeah, you gotta be the one to do that. Like, I can't. Rebellion. Right. And I hope she's not mad at me, bro. I'm like, you know what? I was like, nigga, I got responsibilities. I was like, nigga, I, drive, I, I took a whole week off of work. <laughs> came to Miami. I did that out of love. But... Oh, she didn't have a call. What the fuck she had? Come and see me. I discovered something in the locket we found at the house. Man, I saw that shit, I was like, whoa. Yeah. But yeah, she's doing good. She was at the crib. She was like, I'm going to put my pants up. I'm like, did you wipe your ass? Like, come on, I know you're handicapped. Fuck that. Uh, it was like, you're such an asshole. I'm like, nah, me and my friends will be laughing right now. Like, you guys are perfectly fine. Like, that's just sore. That's not. That's just in the car. Gosh, I was like, you guys should just order the Uber. But you guys didn't want to order the Uber. You guys have to put the laptop and not wear those e Like, you know the houses. Like, I was like, you guys literally could have prevented that. They literally could have prevented that, Brandon. You know that. Nah, yeah, I was in New York. Some shit. And I was like, oh shit, what the fuck happened? That car looked crazy, though. I was like, god damn. Yeah, the car was torn over. That wasn't my sister's car. It was like the, the nigga's car that, that uh, he was going to drive. Oh, yeah. He didn't even visit in the hospital. He never came. This nigga's looking for him. Um, he was like, at the, at, the, at the day of the accident, he wasn't, he didn't even get injured. Yeah, like, it was like, it was like three niggas that walked away non-injured. And uh, it was the other three. And it was like, it was, no, it was like four people walked away non-injured. Or three, three walked, it was like, it was like three walked away injured, and four of them didn't walk away with injured, or four of them walked away with injured, and three didn't. But it was like one of them didn't walk away with severe injuries. It was like life. Rebellion. Which one of them didn't get injured. But uh. Deanna got it the worst. Deanna probably broke. So the other nigga broke it. Deanna and some other nigga broke. The other nigga broke his femur and broke his, uh, fractured some of his ribs. And his religion, he doesn't believe in medicine. So after they told him what was wrong with him, he just left and went to his house. Like he went home because he doesn't believe in medicine. I'm like, nah, he's bugging him. <laughs> That's funny, you said. Nah. I thought it was a rental, and I was like, damn, Sharon's about to eat them niggas up. Yeah, no, I'm saying. Hmm. How do I become evil, bruh? That's all I care about. That's all I care about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think this game's like 40 hours long, like the main story. Yeah, yeah and then there's like side quests I can pick up for like, I think it said like 90 hours or some shit. So it's a long game. I thought there's gonna be like DLCs. Apparently. Revelio. But now you should get this shit. <laughs> Professor. Yeah, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. What, the Hogwarts hit? about the attack. Yeah. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow. Yeah, I might get Elden Ring, but I feel like that shit, that shit gonna make me rage. Ranrock used I'm it to bad. control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... Oh my they were there because of me. Oh, I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor to Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. 
This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's got... They're after the locket. You said you discovered... Trying to something. learn these spells, yes, bro. Yes. I discovered an inscription. I'd be killing cats. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover if our experience at Green. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit. But so uh, perhaps we. There just be so much dialogue in this game. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. I mean, I'll be skipping that shit. Revelio. The castle's big as fuck, though. Your stories have me fucking dead, though. I thought you went down there. Well, you did go down there just because what happened, but I was like, did this nigga turn this shit into, like, a uh, vacation? This nigga's posting baby <laughs> drama and all this shit. Are you all right? Yeah. What's going on? The girl who everyone at school hates for no reason. I don't know what the next time I'm going to come back out here. Yeah, I was, I was like, what the fuck? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies <laughs> and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no tell moon mind. I, I wanted to make some new yeah. things, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. I'm my like... gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. <laughs> Are you familiar with gobstones? Yeah. Little balls, like marbles. Oh, he looked like he's having a good time. And it... <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Oh. <sighs> Imelda is one of them. Oh, she's getting better. She'll be alright. I need to. I'll say. I... Fuck. I need to buy, um. Haven't you any friends? Buy a hard drive for this shit. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gold? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Who? I'll see what I can do. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit. Shut up, bitch. I'm not helping you. Oh my god. I shouldn't have taken the side quest. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Fuck is a gobstone, I don't know. Repair it. I did ask her to find this bitch's shit. Oh, I said, I said, what you doing? Who? The song. Oh, shit. Akio. Levioso. Lumos. Rebellion. You didn't tell no other niggas here, did I'm about to tell this bitch I don't know where your shit at. Straight up. I said you dead ass. He said yeah, I just never played it. He said I just never played it. How much is it? Seventy. Yeah, it's
Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, you can do a bunch of shit in this game, holy fuck. I'm about to be nice as fuck at this game. Holy shit. Oh, man, he Make no fucking sense. Did you finish it? Nah. Come here. Two K. I 
Hope. With hope? No. Yeah, I was gonna start that with Ant. But everybody why you going in with K on me? I need a horse. These cats begin the way and I'm gonna kill them. So the Get mad at these doors, right? Really Look at an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. You still be playing Rainbow or not? Bugging. See, games be cheap as fuck too. That's all I've seen, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking buy it. Everybody keeps talking about picking houses at uh, Hogwarts Legacy is like the biggest decision. Yeah. <laughs> You have to do math in this game, I don't fucking like it. Delete four. Fuck you, son. Man. 
Nate, how the fuck you get a gun? <laughs> Yo, yeah, oh, uh, niggas on PC already modded it somehow to play multiplayer. Okay. Yeah. Places around the school. Rebellion. I'm telling you, just buy it and stream it. I don't want to buy it until I go online. I really don't. Why do you need to play online games? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school as if it's these gold stones. How nice to see you, my young friend. That's the last of some yeah, of these stones. Yeah. I should go and see her. I gotta go get food, I'm hungry as shit. <laughs> you looking bored as hell. My bad. Keep this bitch's shit. I'm about to do it. I'm about to not give it back to the fucker. Defending Hogsmeade against Trove. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. She's Ravenclaw. I can't get her into that. I have to. Concept and basic magic. Well. 
I'll keep them. I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? Yes. Find his keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it! You're just as bad as everyone else! I hate this school! You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells! Fuck you. Slight. Rebellion! She doesn't give her shit back. <laughs> Dummy. My order of pizza, okay. Hurry up and stream this game, nigga. You buy it, bitch. What's that? Uh, I, buy it. I don't think I can do this now. You buy it, buy it, buy it. Back. Oh, come on. Should I make her buy a pizza? I think I should. Perhaps I'll come back to this. McCoy. I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. Hello? Where you at? Uh, the house. You're here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh. Are you hungry? Why are you hungry? Duh, that's the only time I ask. Oh, why would you go get food, sir? Oh, <sighs> Playing the Harry Potter game. So what do you want me to order you for some son? McDonald's? Uh, no. I can eat. What do you want for lunch? What do I want for lunch? What what are we eating later? Uh wings, meatballs, pizza. Pizza? Alright, so I'll, um, yeah, I'll just have something small, uh, wait, do you want, like, coffee or anything? Do you want Duncan? Yeah, I'll, I'll need Duncan. Okay, what do you want? I can pay for it. I'll, I was gonna get two of the sausage, egg, and cheeses, and then, like, there's, what is it, like, this signature latte or some shit? I, you gonna order it? Um, was like, it? I, I can order it. You order it? Do they deliver or not? Yeah, they do. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. Do you want the signature coffee, you said? Signature latte, I think it's called. Okay, and two sausage, you said? Yes, please. I don't care, so I don't. I think you're Muslim. Hmm? You're a liar. Not during Black History oh. Month. Huh? Not during Black History Month. Goodbye, Bernie. Bye. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. What? But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be.
Again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice your mole? Oh, as I long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boys' lavatory, not for the leak. Revelio. It. Lucan's just over there. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for Crossed Ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so... I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Nah. Last time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, Care to step into the ring? Duh. <laughs> Get me in the ring. Spectacular. Let the fireworks begin. Got my own one for them. Blah. Blah. We'll make you regret signing up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Pray to you. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Man, time to fight. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? 
I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Give it another go. Glad to hear it. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope so. Cool. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Um. Hello, Lucan. May I guess the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Duh. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Done. Good one. Nay. Excellent call. I'd say that's.
that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Say that. Assignments all finished. <laughs> Rebellion. I trust Rebellion. that Brack was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. <laughs> Spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. <laughs> focus on the proper wand movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Sir, you'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? 
Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madame Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us.
Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get it. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. The key. Here it is. So difficult after all. Now to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Thank <laughs> you. 
You aren't supposed to be here. If can't you leave the cost of action, please? Out of here with you. I'm lost. than a job or not. Should be in the clear now. There's no need for us to be stolen about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else is given. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Rebellion! gets to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. How do I know you won't go to the librarian the I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Rebellion! Might this 
Repair it. Revelium. Incendiary. Uh, yeah. Rebellion. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. This must be the way forward, but to where? a book after all. I'll put it. 
Oh, uh -huh. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. <coughs> Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganach. When we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With my proper training. But... Let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs>
You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Oh, Rebellion. Vic, a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears uh, to be <laughs> Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm... Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Mm. Rebellion. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom.
off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Legios. Akio. The chairs in the common room are... Onion again. Oh, she bad. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello, class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantments. Baba. Like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Hmm. I wonder if Did you know that? that you can... Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy. Italy's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan Mill potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, 
I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have. If he Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Now, now see that see dummy? That dummy. Just, Just toss, toss the cabbages, the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. summoned her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon... I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Thank you, Professor, but looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. I should think... Incendio!
Rebellion. 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 Levioso. This looks intriguing. Some assistance. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? 
I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to give my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see.
This must be where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? <laughs> I did find it. However, I've taken a liking to it, so I'm going to keep it. What? But you can't. It doesn't belong to you. Finders keepers, Grace. I can't believe this! Father's stupid oath just cost us a priceless family artifact. I hope your new astrolabe brings you nothing but sorrow. If you can even work out how to use it. I knew I should have done the dive myself. Father's wishes be damned! to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow <laughs> yeah. and I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. <laughs> Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. 
I was thinking that we could investigate a bit. Try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. But how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. God damn, I don't want you. Be on your gut. What a big Latina boat of bitches. Big boat of like. Rebellion. Yeah, this shit in there. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. Uh. That will be all. Thank you for your time. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. you repeatedly not Revelio. far from home especially when i'm inside with your little sister but you should see the mummy how beautiful these horses with wings that's enough i'm too tired for your stories today you stay right here where i can see you now why don't you do some more drawings for me hmm? very well mummy <sighs> Rebellion. I'm gonna go fight some shit. Big slid. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn.
Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Arn will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. Day has gone on too long. Revelio. Dude, I'm blocking that. What? I'm from Protego, my nigga. The fuck? How many of you are there? Looks as if there's more than one. Incendio! What the fuck, my nigga? Do I have to die or do I have to potato? Like, I don't fucking know. Bullshit. Uh, 
ribbon is flying, are we? That was quite something. Now, to free Arn's cart. Revelio! Incendio Revelio Revelio Levioso Acquiem Levioso Rebellion. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Levioso. Accio. I thought you're a deadly great spider. <laughs> Revelio.
On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. <laughs> Dear buddy. They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Let's get this. Attack you. Stop it, you stupid fool. Incendium. Peace you up, boy. Come here, boy. I'm about to light you on fire, boy. Get up. Fucker. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. <laughs> Perhaps some nice flash. We can have a Fuck the tickle rock, bitch. Woo! <laughs> now you better. They don't even know how to spell this, nigga. Like. Right. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood steals and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. 
No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to... <laughs> yes, we can see <laughs> a little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Now oh, is it? Revelio. Yeah, any other shag see you? This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Lovely. Now, now notice, notice the vines, vines on these pillars here, as well as the stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. <sighs> What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Revelio. Revelio. These pillars are pyres, and pyres are meant to be lit. Incendio. Make the pyre sink. Incendio. I gotta start listening more. What a day! I can hardly. Rebellion. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require manners, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Revelio.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Who's on? Well, this is shut up. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogwarts. Rebellion. Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. <laughs> not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. 
I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well prepared Rebellion. Rebellion! Keep your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the Fwopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Should you chop off the digony or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Again. Oh. Dragon dog. What happened? Professor Sharp must have. <laughs> What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. <coughs> oh, my robes are going to reek from Gary's inspiration. Oh, I need that new slid drip. Get any more clothes. Scrap.
Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fig. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Blink. Yeah, they did. Let me know if you need help finding anything. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. That looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever. perusal today. Take your time. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, yeah. Um, I'd you. say that looks as if it was made for you. Crap. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I 
I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Shut up, man. Whenever you're about. Brother, I'll keep just going. Shut up. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure uh, to stop by whenever you're about. So what kind of look you call that? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Where is that one? Can I get a broom? My god. Ooh, I gotta fly. Bob no clue. Bok. Yeah, it's a monster. Neither way. You're your buggy. Alright, fuck it. We'll go here. Tweaking, I'm geek. Tweaking, geek, and geek. Oh, we're, 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 we're. Oh, we're. Mm. Motherfucking up, but who knows about the book you found? Is it missing something? I believe it's safe to be on. I'm not across the bridge, I'm on. Scrope? Who is Scrope? Uh, drippier than you. I just bridge on fire, pussy. Big slid, big slid. How nice to see you. Uh, you know, slid. <laughs> Just the place. Down to the water's edge. Hmm. This had better not be a trick. Accurate. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Uh. 
Harald, pack da die Höhe. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. Been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. Oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. In fact, Scrope wants to surprise him. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black family crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring.
Nigga, I leave you know. <laughs> Your journey is ended. Thanks. Thanks, game. Thank you, game, for telling me. Fucker. No, no. Frogs, bro. God.
instantly. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Visitor? Oh! Ah! Ooh! <laughs> ah! The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages, if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. How is it possible to steal from peas? 
a poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Mm. Rebellion. pages. Best hang on to it for now. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. That boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they did. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Lumos.
Rebellion. Professor, I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although. We got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Uh, as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. To take care of everything I had asked. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Here, if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus, you seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Still at it, I see.
up to now. Wand from online. And this is my wand. What is the best wand in Hogwarts Legacy? Customizing your wand is a thing, and it's very crucial to your gameplay experience. So which one's the best? Starting off with the length, I'm sure you've heard this before, but the length actually doesn't affect the performance. You can go anywhere between 9 and 14 inches, which I've heard is way above average. For wand. <laughs> the durability can go from unyielding to quite bendy. You also have 30 different styles of wood to pick from. You have 8 different designs to pick from in the style, and you guessed it, it does not affect the performance. What actually does change the performance of the wand is the core, essentially what charges the wand. There are three options here. Unicorn hair will give you more consistent magic. Phoenix feather has a great range of different magic. And Dragon Heartstring has more powerful magic. I'll be playing early, making my wand live on the red app, so give that a follow if you're interested. What is the best wand I bought in the lab? My first wand! Then I'll go for a dragon heartstring cord. Here I am, as good as my word. Lumos. Accio. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Inframuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. 
Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird. Adieu. Lumos. Is that Latin? Or Greek? <laughs> Look, I gotta jump. Lumos. Alright, we're not gonna need Lumos to be honest. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Revelio. Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh... Uh, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Let's 
risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. This place is. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if I can get spells will help me through this.
I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. Rebellion. Rebellion. That platform ought to be able to float straight to me. Let's see what drip we acquired. Nah. Offense. We're gonna have to cop it, my brother. Yep.
I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? It's a good thing Jack Dool didn't fall down there. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. help myself to this. An untouched chest. Jack <laughs> wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. <sighs> there 
There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. Straight up. wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I need to look around for the symbol. Revelio. Getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. Revelio. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Yeah, it's belly all man.
What's up? Who want who want Z word? You want no word? What's up? Come here, bitch. You gonna stay up there? I'm all fuck you. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. You think of you big? You gonna do something? It's funny, bruh. Like this. Sit down, slut. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Oh, fuck, I gotta hold you, huh? You suck. Oh, yeah. Fire, I'm fired. Give me that. Man, I ain't got no weapon, pussy. I don't like you. This magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morgan are were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. 
Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Rebellion. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Rebellion.
you mean dead? Yes. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mm. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. <laughs> up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Uh huh. Why are you ready though? And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want oh, them returned in oh, one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Excellent. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. 
I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? I can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely, is it? Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? so quickly. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Aulery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. What's next?
Nice to see you, my young friend. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Revelio, who used to play gobstones here all the time. With my, my sister. sister. Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So Shut up. confides in anyone but he's trusted me since the day we met i wouldn't want to jeopardize that we used to sneak in here almost daily we've never been caught i know ominous met him in our common room i've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle he does no idea how though ominous was born blind and no spell could reverse it his wand seems almost sentient not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. 
Let's get it. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Doubt it. Mimic by wand movement. The incantation is Confringa. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit, a bit farther, farther than that of a spell, spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's tapped. Oh, that's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's something with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Sorry, you must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. 
My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Cool, nigga. Good. Let's get some new drip. Oh, need new drip. <laughs> oh, oh. I gotta go ahead and fuck up with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. <laughs> Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. <laughs> That looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Sure. New face, wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? 
Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. A shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. And I've only just re got a few rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows, Wind Wisps too. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Nice doing business with you. I overheard some students talking about the Tucker Rose teaching game. Sounds very fresh. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I... As it happens, another hog... An ideal situation... Uh... That sounds intriguing. Thank you. The time trial should be... Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Hello, Imelda. Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're a competition. <sighs> 
can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. <sighs> Ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one more You're a Slytherin though. Flower. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Blah, 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 blah. It's a game meant for me. You're gonna lose regardless. <sighs> Fuck. I need like to invert flying directions or some shit. Too bad. That'd be it. Oh, that's not you, you must have cheated you. Oh, fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn uh, to say you want to fuck. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time. Mm, bitch, I hold the we'll record see now. This time, if your win here was more than just a fluke, whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Oh well. Uh, my income. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Oh, I'll throw a turn back to this fucking loser.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, you're back! With something to report, I hope? Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! With... A little turbulent. I will say that it ten. Oh, thank you. Even the mason. <coughs> Why would any... I have a friend in... And where would we... I'm excited to hear more. I can give a fuck. I just wanted to bring How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Yep. Hold on, man. Open any of those doors. Uh, let me do it. Professor Weasley. <laughs> mm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. <coughs> Shall we? I guess. You, Professor. I guess. I guess. A student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Oh my god. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects. Mama, Mama. I suggest you practice the wand movement, then you can clear the chair. This is what we're going to do. Uh, and send you... Where are we? There we go. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Bitch, behind Moonstone, behind Moonstone. Merlin's name is that elf. 
I waited for years, I waited for years, but I was trying to be more interested. Than, uh, Is that uh, goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Some of us are trying to rest. Yes, Professor. Spinders. Vanessa. Boom, Naga. Am I supposed to get somewhere? It's funny. Slow. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Accio. Can I fuck it? can find us in here. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. Mm -hmm. The room of requirement will always be equipped for this. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any... Deep scene student. You seem to have. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. 
Oh, that explains it, then. What I need specifically is a place where I... Well, then, the room can... Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Nothing to identify. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Nah, I gotta speak to you, bitch. I let my shit flow in. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now. I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Uh, the uh, um. or conjuring objects. The conjuring Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as moonstone can be obtained throughout the... They can also be given no. You can indeed. Why don't you give it a try? You should find both. Uh, 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 uh. or grow plants presuming of course you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle ground Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have do not underestimate his insights
Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We have charms in place to enforce that. But the room of requirement... Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. Deke has had a... I shall let Deke I will be short. No, thanks, bye. Get out my face, right? We, we do need some of this shit. Deke hasn't mm. seen this many plants here before. Bah. You have more of it? I'm sure lots of people are happy to 